Agora TV. The world is thinking. I really want us to imagine that we, and I really want all of us and, and people, to start getting excited about the thing that they were born into, this body. Um, you know, it's, so many people look at it as broken, and, 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 and indeed, sometimes it is. And um, so many people have a kind of a, a feeling that it's just a matter of time, and it's something that we've got to somehow protect, or there's some kind of medicine or some kind of product or something that's going to help us. And what I'm finding is by reconnecting to the very primal aspects of being a human being, which is connected to movement, which is connected to running, which is connected to feeling, happens to be one of the most interesting and effective ways to start feeling better and being healthier. And that kind of feeling better and being healthier ends up making um, this body to be something to celebrate, to be something that doesn't need an endless uh, variety of accoutrements in order for it to just make it through the day, but rather ends up becoming a tool of self-discovery. And I believe that our ancestors did enjoy, actually, movement to the point where it made us uh, such a successful species before the invention of the wheel. This primary vehicle, our own foot, got us to every nook and cranny of the planet. We are embodying an incredible apparatus that is really needs to be reconnected to our brain. And what I think the la last part of the 20th century has been all about disconnect. We've disconnected from our feet. Runners are listening to other music. They're not tuning into their body. And what I've come to the conclusion is that by the, the type of intelligence that's required to actually move well over the earth is quite sophisticated. And it's something along the lines of balancing which is an extraordinary thing when you're balancing. You know, you don't need somebody to say, okay, you're balanced now. It's something that you tune into. And when you're tuned into it, it just happens. A dancer does it, a runner does it. Getting into that tuned state where you become so connected to your body that you're aware of the movement, of the energy flowing through you. I really think it's extraordinarily appropriate that we started this talk today with dance because I believe that dance indeed is this expression of movement that's flowing and graceful and smooth and joyful and pleasurable, and I think it's a birthright. And I think that it liter in reality, running actually is a kind of dance. And when you do it well, it looks beautiful, it feels beautiful, it is beautiful.